it's Sarah and today I'm going to be doing some crackling. Um, <clears throat> I have this, it's very large and it's not going to be able to get into the shot. But this is a piece that I did, let me see if the, I signed it, it was in 02, holy cow. So 15 years ago and it was cool because we did this, this wood grain technique is a special tool that we use. There's a little spider and a spider web and a ladybug. But look at this rain, like not a raindrop, the drop here. So this is all dry brushing and then these are what? What are those? Like Shasta daisies and a bucket. And I can't remember who the piece is by, so whose design it is. But anywho, I think I'm going to hang it in my my den and it has a this is the frame and it's a brown frame it may have been finished some other way and I didn't like it and then I went over it but I'm gonna crackle over it I think I'm gonna crackle and I'm gonna use weathered wood now let me see if it says shake on here um, I have this media crackle paste and I don't think I want to do that because it's it's white already and it, it does crack, but I want to paint over the crackle. I'm used to doing it this way. This is more for mixed media, like to go through a stencil or something because it's a paste. But this I'm just going to use this weathered wood and this is pretty old. This is by DecoArt and it's a one step crackle because I have this two step crackle and it works pretty well, but I'm, you know, I'm lazy and I'd rather do it in one step. <laughs> so I am going to apply this. I already covered it just now with some matte medium because it was, the paint was just, I just wanted to seal it first, which, because the paint seemed like it wasn't sealed. Um, and so I'm just going to put this out on a paper plate and let me get... I have the same brush that I was using for the matte medium and I'm just going to apply this kind of thick and thin. I'm going to apply it thick in some places, thin in others because depending on the thickness of this, it cracks thicker and thinner. So I'm just going to let the brush kind of take the lead. So if I leave some places that are um, kind of lumpy and bumpy that's good and then if I don't hit some places that's good so I'm just going to let it be whatever it is and so I'll come back in about an hour after I base this whole frame and I'm probably just going to stick to the front with it although it probably would look cool I'll hit on the outside a little bit but I'm not as concerned with the outside I just want the effect to be seen in the front and then you know the sides will be I'm gonna paint over this once it's completely dry I'm gonna use acrylic paint and I'm gonna paint over it probably with like a light ivory I don't want it completely white although I could because then you can always antique it like I could float on top of it but hopefully the brown that it's painted right now will will show through the cracks so I'll be back in about an hour when this is all dry and that's when the magic happens. But I'll show you how, how it turns out, all right? I'll see you in an hour. Okay, I'm back. I'm in the kitchen because this is such a big frame. I mean, it's at least, it's like about three feet long. Um, so I'm on my kitchen counter. Uh, but this has been crackled now. It's all dry and you can see there's like thick parts and thin parts. So I'm curious to see if it if I did a good enough job of it. Like there's this is actually like looks like a big droplet, but I think that was from the paint underneath. So I've chosen light ivory. I'm actually using Ceramco and DecoArt. They're very similar. They're very close. This one seems a little more a little darker, but I have I didn't have a lot. So hey Matt. I'm just filming in here. So that has a paint blob. Then I'll put some of this out. So I'll just mix it to make sure because I'm not going to, see that's much lighter. I'm not going to probably, 
you know, be putting this on super thick, um, but I have a long way to go. And then I'm just using that same brush that I use. It's a big flat brush, probably at least a one inch flat. All right, so let's see how this goes. And I'm loading the brush the way I always load my brush. And I'm just going to gently apply it and hope for the best. That's what I always do. I do like having a little bit of water in my brush as always because even though it's a we're doing it um what would this be called um an effect or a you know water makes the paint slide oh my gosh it's crackling already i'm so excited i'm gonna get a little bit done and then i'll come back and show you what it looks like hey babe i'm filming oh see i just pulled the paint off there so I don't think you can go back too hard or um, so I have to be gentle. I don't think you can go back over it until it dries because you'll pull it off. See how I just hit that where I did? So I am going to have to be gentle and just work my way around quickly. But see that is crackling. It is definitely crackling. See it? It is crackling. I'm going to just do the top, focus on the top for now, and then I'll come back and do um, the sides because it's just one of those things where you don't want to go back over things you've already done, but it is totally crackling. I'm excited. It looks really cool. So I have just changed the look, the whole look of this because of that I had a brown frame and now I have a creamy white crackled frame and when I shoot I'll put the pick the picture back in it at the end and I'll show you oh wow it is crackling it looks so cool I wonder if doing a second coat is a possibility or not I don't know I'm going to have to maybe do crackle more often. Maybe this is going to be something we do for um, an art journal page. I have um, crackle paste, I told you. So maybe we'll put that through a stencil. Ooh, look, see I'm pulling it off. So you have to be careful. OMG, it looks so good though. It really looks good, guys. Like, I can see where we're going with this, where it's going to end up. So, all right, I'm going to go away and I'll come back when it's done and show you. All right, here it is. So, I'm going to, it's on the wall and it's not the greatest lighting, and this isn't where it's going to go. And, but I just wanted you to see the crackle. I definitely um, like the way it turned out. I don't know if I love it for what I was thinking though. But I love the crackle. The crackle turned out phenomenal. So this is weathered wood. And it was one step. Nice and easy. And I love that like. In some places there are thick cracks and I went over a little bit here and there if it was a little too much brown showing through but for the most part and then this is the whole piece which I don't know if it looks right and it's not gonna go there but I like it on the blue wall so we'll see all right you guys so that is just what you can do and change it up I could still antique it if I wanted to but I did varnish and I just went over it with um, a matte interior varnish by um, DecoArt. Alright you guys, that's it. Thanks for watching.